All right, today we're going to look at uh, an incredible passage. It's from a book that you may not even know is in the Bible, Zephaniah. Uh, we're going to look at chapter 3, verse 17. Now, I know some of you are watching this going, man, I love Zephaniah. I have a Zephaniah t-shirt. Awesome. This passage is incredible. Listen to what it says. Um, this is uh, 317. It says, The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love, and he will exalt over you with loud singing. Right? Zephaniah was one of those prophets. Again, we know the backstory with that. Israel totally messed up, totally went their own way, and, and God was, was sending these guys out to let them know that God, that God hadn't forgotten about them. They had forgotten about him, but he made a promise. And as one thing God does, he keeps his promises over and over and over again, right? And we know this to be true because of Jesus, the ultimate promise. I know Christmas is coming up in, in just a couple months, and, and that's gonna, that gift is what we're going to celebrate. Like, like hope is here, hope for now, hope, hope to deal with our past, hope to give us this future that God has for us. So let these words sink into God's right here right here, right now. And as you move into the future, he's going to be with you. He's in your midst. He's in our midst as God's people. He's the one who is able to save, who indeed, who has saved us. To, to think that the, that the one who made the universe would rejoice over you, that he would rejoice over me with gladness and quiet us by his love is just amazing. So today, just go to God, because that's what He wants to do. In the commotion of our lives, in the, as we're freaking out and losing it and, and upset and, and just not seeing the, the way forward, He says, hey, I got you. I got you. I love you. I am with you. I, I am there. And that quiets our souls, right? The anxiety that, that's maybe like going off the charts. Because anxiety is often about what hasn't happened, it's a worry. But God says, hey, look at what I've done. Look at what I continue to do. Look at, look at how I love you. Look at how I am with you. And I want, I want that to happen for you today. I want you, that, that quiet to come over you, to know that, that you are loved by God. He is with you right here and right now. So let's share that with somebody that we love and let us continue again. To, to rest in Him and to find His truth for our lives. All right? We'll talk to you next time for another follow-up.